Welcome back to the We Are City channel for another episode of our Manchester City Master League. Things are getting pretty big in today's episode. It's the Champions League knockout stages that begin in the round of 16. You'll find out who we've drawn pretty soon. But we kick off today's episode with the Manchester Derby. Last time I played United, it finished 3-3, I do believe. We weren't so good where we ended up coming back. We probably should have won it in the end with Erling Haaland. But we didn't, and this is the United side we face today. Martin Debravka starts in goal. It's Awan Bissaka, Varane, Lisandro Martinez, and Malakia at the back. Uh, Malasia at the back four. Casemiro and Scott McTominay partner in the midfield with Eriksen in front. Sancho on the right, Ilanga on the left, and Captain Cristiano Ronaldo up top. It's Tom Heaton, Lindelof, Shaw, Van der Beek, Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford, and Anthony on the bench. No Maguire, no Jones. I mean, last time we played United, they had Phil Jones in there, didn't they? And Tom Eaton in goal. Couldn't understand it. As for us today, only one miss, really, main player. It is an injury to Ilkay Gundogan. So we do miss Gundogan today. Bernardo Silva starts on the right again. I would have played Bernardo in the middle, but neither Mares or Grealish or anyone are really up for it. I mean, Borges is who's been playing so, so well, hasn't he, Borges? He could be... A star is born this series, couldn't he? You know, an unexpected star. We've been looking for a winger possibly in the transfer window. That guy could be the man. I know he's only 66 rated, but he's, he's, he's developing really well so far. At the moment, we've gone with a more defensive formation against United because last time we got caught out. So we have matched him a little bit. Edison starts in goal. It's Walker, Diaz, Laporte and Cancelo on the back four. Rodri and Phillips hold together in the midfield with De Bruyne in front. Phone on the left, Bernardo Silva on the right. Erling Haaland through the middle on the bench. Ake, Gomez. We've got Mares, Grealish. Borges and Julian Alvarez. Manchester Derby time. We're ready. So Derby Day, City versus United. Out we come. Captain KDB, Captain Cristiano Ronaldo, the two top, top players in the Premier League. Ronaldo has been used on the Ten Hag, more so than he expected. Strong side, a new era for United. Not doing so well in the league, but better than last season, I believe. They're probably higher in the table than you expect. We face them today. Pressure is on to get three points here today and perform well in the Manchester Derby. Brilliant challenge. Here's Anthony Alanga, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo hits Laporte. And Calvin Phillips clears it away on as far as Wan-Bissaka. United looking very good here. Lively start. Cancelo with an interception. Actually, it worked out pretty well. Now Silva. Kyle Walker. De Bruyne. De Bruyne tries to get one in for back to his goalkeeper, De Bravka. That was nearly a chance. Wambisaka, good interception by Phil Foden. I expect to give a torrid time to Wambisaka, and he has done and Foden. Into Haaland! Oh, what a save by Dubravka. Runs the ball straight out of play. Accidentally, Eriksen. McTominay. Phillips, he's trying to screen this back line with Rodri. Sancho. Eriksen. What a ball to Jaden. Sancho! And Sancho puts it wide of the post. Boy, are we lucky there, both sides. I've had a clear chance now. Good play by Manchester United. Laporte sucked in here. Phillips couldn't block that one off and Sancho played in. We've got to be careful dragging the centre-backs out. We tend to be caught out that way. Into De Bruyne. Back into Bernardo Silva. City with a chance here. Bernardo. Fast Malasia. Oh, and then try to just flick it a bit further so we get a bit of a better angle on the shot. Couldn't do so. Haaland's had not much to do up top. Barry missed a chance. That is half time. Nil nil in Manchester Derby. We are top of the table. They are about seven points clear. And of course, bragging rights come with the Manchester Derby. At the moment, one Haaland missed chance has been the only chance. Away from two or three, Bernardo. Brilliant. Cancelo. Bowden. Spin Sancho. Cancelo. Cross comes in. Haaland's in there. Heating out a punch. Eriksen, De Bruyne are in there. Ronaldo picks it up. Diaz against Ronaldo. Well done, Ruben Diaz. Down to his fellow Portuguese, Bernardo Silva. Bernardo, another late challenge. This time by Casemiro. Bernardo Silva's picking up the fouls here. And he's gone down, Bernardo. Hopefully he gets back up here. Nasty challenge by Casemiro. Bernardo Silva. He's yet to get back to his feet. Kyle Walker's asking for the physio. Ooh, does he just catch his ankle there, Bernardo Silva? I'm not quite sure. Laporte could head it. Scott McTominay. Alanga. Ronaldo from range. Good save from Edison. Good save there, Ronaldo. We've got to be careful. Player of his quality. We know we can hit them from there. Walker. 
Oh, nutmeg. Bernardo Silva, across the box. Walker chance at it. Deflects away from Haaland and Bruno Fernandes lumps it away. No problem with that. Anthony is on for a langer. So the Brazilian. Flair. Player Casemiro. Free header 1 0 Manchester United. Absolute free header there for Casemiro. Don't know who should be marking him. It's a free header and we 1 0 down in the derby. And United look to get the better of us nearly again. Came from behind last time to get a draw. Not played well this season at times. Alvarez was swinging here. Erling Haaland is in there. Still can't score. Out to Cancelo. On to Bernardo Silva. Diaz. Alvarez. Oh, Julian Alvarez. What a poor pass. What a terrible pass. Well, I'll see it. Into Anthony. Alvarez there. Simple pass. Marim, Anthony, cross comes into Rashford, Bernardo Silva away and the referee blows the full time whistle, we begin the episode with a 1-0 defeat in the Manchester derby at Old Trafford, not good enough from City, not good enough at all today, and United can celebrate a win over their rivals, won the Premier League, Chelsea draw 0-0, Villa draw 2-2 with Spurs, Arsenal win 1-0, Liverpool lose 4-2 to Leicester, Wolves they win 1-0, we're still top of the table, Five points clear. Four losses, six draws, 18 wins. That's a poor real season, isn't it? 19 goals conceded, the best in the league. 44 scored, level with Wolves and Manchester United. Not happy. And we next go into the Champions League, knowing we can't perform like that if we want to win the Champions League. So one player our scouts have brought us as a player that you guys, I think, is probably the favourite to sign. Been linked heavily with Manchester City. It is Rafael Liao, left winger, 23 years of age. The Portuguese international currently around 84 rated and expected to reach 90 by the end of, or in his prime anyway. Market value around 70 million. We can pick him up for around 70 to 85 million. He has got a release clause of 150 million euros, but his contract is up next season. Milan will be looking to cash in since he's refusing to sign one as it stands. City can talk with his agent. I think we will talk with his agent to see if we can make a move next summer. Now, in 29 appearances so far in all competitions for AC Milan, he scored 16 goals and 9 assists. That shows the quality he has off that left-hand side. He's got good dribbling. Um, he may, makes amazing runs. Flair is his big point. And his pace and, and strength as well is a massive one. I mean, he is lacking finishing slightly. That's something he needs to work on. Also, his crossing and defensive awareness as well. He doesn't like to trap back. But everything else suits the City style of play, suits his team, and also suits the squad as a whole. I mean, he's got the personality to fit with the team, the determination to reach the top. He, he's got good chance creation. He's strong, but his pace and dribbling is something this side really lacks in the wide areas. I think at the moment we've got Mares, who's got dri dribbling but no pace. Foden's got good dribbling, not really that pace or strength. The same goes for Grealish. If we brought in someone like Rafael Liao, we would be transforming the squad and bringing in a player that really is something we don't already have. And that's why... He is right at the top of my list as a possible signing next summer. Well, it's Champions League knockout stages now, and we have drawn AC Milan in the knockout stage. And a player we've been scouting, Rafael Liao, he's one to look out for in today's game. They start with Mainyan in goal. It's Hernandez, Kia, Tamori and Salamaka in the back four. Tonali and Benesir in the midfield two. They kept Lara in front with Brahim Diaz, ex-City on the, on the right. Rafael Liao, the main man, the one to keep an eye on, the one we're very interested in on the left. And then it's Zlatan Ibrahimovic up top. We like to back Yoko, Ferenzi, Giroud, Rebic on the bench. Rest are going Edison in goal. It's Walker, Diaz, Laporte and Sergio Gomez in the back four. Roderick De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva in the midfield three. With Grealish on the left, Foden on the right and Erling Carlin through the middle. Wearing the captain's arm on today will be Kevin De Bruyne. We've got Mares, Alvarez, Gundogan, Phillips, Cancelo, Akanji on the bench. No Ake, no Stones today. No Cole Palmer again. We are not finding room for it at the moment. No Borges either. He's not in our Champions League squad. Full Champions League action against AC Milan here. The Italian side done really well, haven't they, to get back to where they were. We face them today. A strong side for them. Captain Tadali leads the AC Milan side out. The left-hand side of AC Milan is the danger zone. You know, they've got Teo Hernandez and Rafael Leal combining on that side. If we can keep that side quiet with Kyle Walker and with Phil Foden, I think we're in a good chance of winning this fixture. Getting a good aggregate score going into the second leg. Brilliant. Brilliant from Grealish. Brilliant from Grealish. Oh, man, yeah, what a save. Phone in there. Falls to De Bruyne. Bernardo Silva with a strike blocked away. Grealish. 
Pedro Gomez. De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Oh, Haaland on the turn. Haaland gets a shot off and he drags it wide. Rafael Leal first involvement for him. Oh, and here's Teo Hernandez. Bit of trouble here, Teo. Ruben Diaz, good physicality. If that's a free... Diaz comes across, just use the shoulder against Teo. The referee says free kick. It's in the box, is it? It's a penalty, that, isn't it? If it's going to be a free kick. It's going to be a foul. Zlatan, does he shoot? No, he puts it to far post to Lee out. Zlatan with a spectacular volley. Well, he's back from his injury. His Ebra. Good ball in, actually, to Rafael out. Nice attempt. Sergio Gomez. Walker again. Behind to De Bruyne. Fold him. Walker. Howell is in there again. Defended away to Mori this time. Walk. Walker, good play. Fold him. Bernardo. Over to Grealish. Back across the box. Haaland's in there again. Tamori away. De Bruyne. Bernardo. Gomez again. Bernardo once more. Gomez. Haaland's in there again. They defended away. De Bruyne. Oh, it's wider Phil Foden. Foden tackled by Teo and Half Halftime, nil-nil. Haaland's waiting for the tapping. Heroic defending from AC Milan time and time again in that first half. Not looking like a Manchester City player, Rafael Liao, to be honest with you. De Bruyne. Chance. Oh, Tamori again gets lucky, I don't know. Tamori and Kiara have been brilliant at the back for AC Milan. Has to be said. De Ketlada. Brahim Diaz. De Ketlada. Ruben Diaz out. Teo Hernandez. Zlatan Ibrahimovic! Goal for AC Milan. One chance all game. And they score. We've created chance after chance after chance. Heroic defending from AC Milan at times. Different at the other end for us. Ibra in space. And he rifles that one into the bottom left-hand corner. And 1-0 we trail in the Champions League. Foden wins it back off Raphael. He loses it to Liao. And Liao plays the ball through to Zlatan. And he can't intercept that can Laporte. And here is Brahim Diaz. Through on goal here. Brahim Diaz. Good save by his former teammate Edison. Phil Foden at fault there. Yellow card for Laporte for the foul on Zlatan. Had to be done to try and cut that pass out. And it also stops Zlatan being in the box for a return pass. Bad ball. Stupid ball by me. What am I doing there? I don't know what I'm doing there. Oh, Brahim's in again here off Sergio Gomez. Laporte's getting back. Brahim Diaz makes it 2-0 AC Milan. It looks like we're going out of the Champions League here. Brahim Diaz, what could be the winner? To send AC Milan through and knock us out. In the round of 16 stage. 2-0 Milan. The Ketlar are off Rebic on. Oh, my word. Here's Tenali. Diaz crossing. Zlatan in there. Could fall to Leo. It does. But that. Joao Cancelo with an absolutely shocking mistake. He's just come on. Rafa Leo scores his first chance of the game. AC Milan knocking us out of the Champions League. We're 3-0 down here. We're not staying in, are we? That's it. We're gone. Oh, can we just make a run? Kevin De Bruyne. Someone. No interest in even scoring here today. Well done, Leo. This is supposed to be the year we win the Champions League. Full time, AC Milan 3, Manchester City 0. We're going out. We're going out. And only ourselves to blame. Shocking performance. We haven't even played bad. They just hit us on the counter three times. Crushed us. We played Nottingham Forest next in the Premier League. A 2 0 win over Forest. Goals they soon for Milling Callender. 4 win for Spurs there. Chelsea win 1 0. Do Wolves win? Wolves draw 2 2. Well, with what? Nine games left in the Premier League. We're top on 63 points. It shows how poor the table is, really, and how poor teams performed. 63 points puts you top of the table. Usually at this stage, there are about 70 points, I do believe, especially City and Liverpool in the previous seasons. But everyone is really high quality. Obviously, we're going to look, try and up our game in season two. 
look to improve the squad. Leeds United, West Ham United, Nottingham Forest at the bottom. Well, Leeds are gone, they're on 15 points. West Ham Forest can still get out of it. Surprising, isn't it? Brentford, Southampton, Fulham, Brighton, Crystal Palace, all doing really well. Arsenal, I mean, the Champions League next year could be us, Manchester United and Wolves. And Chelsea, of course, but Wolves in the Champions League? Wow, congratulations to them. So back with more Premier League action today. City versus Newcastle, a side that did... Well, well... well. So back with more Premier League action now, and we face the side Newcastle. I think they're fifth or sixth in the Premier League. The first side to defeat us in the Premier League this season. Then we went on a bad run from there on. Isak starts on the right side, Carabra on the left, and Wilson for the middle. It's Gimaraish, Ronaldo Vieira, and Jalinta in the midfield three. Target Shah, Botman, Trippy, the captain, Darlo in goal. On the bench, Wood, Fraser, Zawalska signed from Rome, and that's a very good sign. Shelby, Kraft, Burn. And Gillespie. As for us, Haaland and Alvarez start up top together. It's Rodri, Gundogan, De Bruyne, Foden, Cancelo in the midfield five. Laporte, Diaz, Stones, the back three, Edison in goal. We're going to have to think of a really attacking formation to go out against AC Milan with. On the bench, Grealish, Borges, Mares, Phillips, Lewis, Walker, Ortega. No Ake today, he's on the reserves. The same for Parma, Bernardo Silva rested because we'll need him for that game against Milan where we've got to go all out against the Italian side. So in the snow, Newcastle United, St. James's Park, one of the toughest grounds to go to in the Premier League, atmosphere-wise, alongside, I think, Everton and Liverpool. Crystal Palace, I believe, is up there as well. Alexander Isak starts for them. The new sign, the big man, 70 million euros they're signing for from La Real in the summer. We were defeated to them. Chris Wood was the man who scored the hat trick against us. He's not there today. Let's make a difference today. By AC Milan 3 0 in the Champions League. So, not a good episode so far. It's Alexander Isak is playing. He wants to say it by Edison. And then Carl Milson puts it in. Oh, we're in a torrid run of form at the moment. 1 0 to Newcastle within two minutes. Absolutely terrible run of form for Pep Guardiola's team. Top of the league. We look like we're out of the Champions League. We might even bottle the Premier League at this rate. Great start from Newcastle. Wilson wide to Isak. Has a shot which is saved by Edison. Stone so slow to react from Wilson. I think he even jumps over that stone to, to not even block it. And we're 1-0 down within three minutes. What is going on with this City side here? De Bruyne. Fold him. Oh, Haaland's in here. Haaland scores. 1-1. One, one. He hadn't scored in two. But he scored here. Erling Haaland. Don't know how many that is in the Premier League now. He must, have, he must have broke the goal record in the Premier League. Ball through to him by Foden. And he smashed it in the near post. Cancelo tactically. Feel like they're in trouble. Into Haaland again. Alvarez on the rebound. It's 2-1. Turn this game around in 12 minutes. Well, an angry Manchester City side this is. Angered by a 1-0 defeat to Manchester United in the derby. Angered by a 3-0 defeat in the Champions League to AC Milan that could knock us out. Come into this game and get even more angry with a, a goal conceded early. Pings this one out to Gundogan. He's got plenty of time to think about it. Cancelo. De Bruyne. Haaland turns. Haaland gets his shot off. 3-1. Looking for a demolition job against Newcastle here. And I think we've got another Premier League game before Arsenal. Uh, before... Um, AC Milan, which I do believe is Arsenal. Good goal by Haaland. A double today. But we're not stopping there. I want to see this side score goals. Haaland. De Bruyne. Phil Foden. Sends him a bit wide, Foden. Foden. Alvarez on the turn. It's 4-1. City tear apart Newcastle. A double from Alvarez and a double from Erling Haaland. And that is what we're going to have to need in this AC Milan second leg when it comes... Haaland out to De Bruyne. Wide to Phil Foden. Finds Alvarez right in front of the keeper. It's terrible defending by Sven Botman. He watches Alvarez stood there. Another for Julian Alvarez. 4-1 against Newcastle here. That is half-time. 4-1 we lead. The Arsenal next. Then AC Milan. Be a bit more conservative against the Arsenal. But against AC Milan we've got to play like this. Foden. Cancelo. Foden. De Bruyne. Rodri, Gundogan, Alvarez makes it 5-1, hat-trick for Julian Alvarez, his first hat-trick as a Manchester City player, brilliant football, tearing Newcastle apart here, absolutely ripping Newcastle, 
Well, hopefully we can do this against Milan. On the turn, Gundogan Alvarez with a touch. Bang, top bins. We're ripping them apart. Absolutely ripping Newcastle apart. 5-1. Can he beat Rodri as well? Oh, Gundogan touch on it. Foden away. Haaland, Alvarez. Oh, he's got here. Ronaldo Vieira give up. Alvarez. Alvarez. Oh, foul by Darlo. What's the keeper doing? De Bruyne. Alvarez with another chance. Oh, it's another one for Julian Alvarez. 6-1. He's played fantastic today. Finally, De Bruyne is picking up wonderful passes as well. Bit of space makes a big difference. I don't know why Newcastle are so bad, but look at that. I think they've got really bad stamina, Newcastle. I wonder if they've played a game recently. I don't know, but Alvarez there, easily played in. Newcastle did take the lead in this game. I think they thought they're about to do Manchester City. De Bruyne. Borges. Haaland can't miss that one. 7-1. Carlos Borges has played three games for Manchester City. He's got two goals and one assist. And brilliant from Borges again there. Hat-trick for Erling Haaland. Should have got more. We'll work on that. Something I need to work on is my ability to finish on this game. But Borges played in. And unselfishly, lays it into Erling Haaland for a tap-in. That is full-time. Newcastle 1, Manchester City 7. Absolutely tear apart Newcastle. Haaland hat-trick. Alvarez with four goals. Preparing for that AC Milan game. Erling, another match ball. Did you enjoy that out there tonight? Yeah, amazing. Nothing more to say. What about the reception these fans have given you? You, you rightly deserve it with your play on the pitch, but how much are you enjoying the reception and playing in front of them? Yeah, I love it. And, uh, yeah, you can see it. And uh, it's amazing. What was the key to finding your rhythm as a team in that first half? Because three goals up at half time, it was a very clinical performance. Yeah, it was about keep doing what we did the second half against uh, Palace and uh, just to uh, basically play, 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 play. And we knew it was going to be chances and uh, that's exactly what we did. So, yeah, it was nice. Well, Chelsea went 4-1 in the Premier League. Spurs have lost again. United win 2-0. Wolves have beat Leeds 1-0. No surprise there. Liverpool win 4-1. So, us top on 66 points. 53 goals scored now. That is by far the best in the league. 10 goal difference over Chelsea in second place in 60. Wolves in third on 59. Villa up there in fifth, by the way. Liverpool will probably catch them. I think Arsenal might catch them as well. Newcastle drop down. It's still West Ham, Leeds and Bournemouth now at the bottom. Forest leapfrog Bournemouth down there. So Scout Report already come back on one player, one winger already in today's episode. Now we're looking at Jeremy Pino, 19 years of age. He is 40 million market value. We could probably pick him up for around 50, 65 million. He's currently around 78 rated, potential of 87. He's sort of an under radar sign, a bit of a cheaper option, an alternative to Rafael Liao. He's got five goals and three assists in 28 games for Villarreal, which is nowhere near the sort of quality we saw from Rafael Liao, but he is many years younger and got a real, he's real raw talent really. He's got not the best finishing and crossing either, but he's so good on the ball. He's got good link-up play. He's pretty pacey, actually. He's got good personality and determination, and he brings lots of energy in. And if we were to bring him in, he'd be sort of a Ferran Torres-style uh, signing, one that isn't expected to make it straight away, but a project player. And we've already, perhaps, already got that in uh, Ezekiel Zabayoff, who will be joining in the summer after signing on a permanent loan back to Boca Juniors in January. So perhaps that puts me off Yerevi Pino right now. He's sort of the same level as the Bios and we want someone who's a higher level, someone ready to step into the Manchester City first team. But he's certainly an option and one for you guys to possibly vote on as the board next season, going into next season, for who we sign in that wide area because we do want a pacey winger. At the moment, I think Pino probably is a little bit too similar to the Bios, but he's still high on the list. Um, I think Musa Diaby, who's already been brought to us by our scouts, and Rafael Liao are the lead runners, aren't they, for that position? Well, the final game of today's episode will be against Arsenal, meaning that comeback that might, may or may not happen against AC Milan will be the start of the next episode. First is against Mikel Arteta to end the episode. Arteta's side there in goal is Ramsdale. It's Tommy Asu, White, Holding, Zinchenko, the back four. Partey and Xhaka in the midfield too. Smith Rowe in front, Saka on the right, Martin on the left. And Gabriel Jesus through the middle. That is more like the Arsenal side we expect. Last time we played them at the start of the season, the team seemed to be all over the place. Saliba on the bench, Tierney on the bench, Fabio Vieira on the bench. But Gabriel was on the left, and I think Nketiah was at top. It was odd from Arteta. That looks more like it, doesn't it? As for Edison starts in goal, it's Captain Diaz, Ake, and I'm Eric Laporte. 
at the back, Gundogan will be captain. It's Phillips, Bernardo Silva and Gundogan in the midfield. Three, Mahrez on the right, Cancelo on the left, Alvarez and Haaland part together up top. On the bench, Walker, Stones, De Bruyne, Borges, Foden, Grealish. Got to play this team that just battered Newcastle. A few changes, a few players resting for the AC Milan game. Let's do this. Well, here at the Etihad Stadium to face Mikel Arteta's Arsenal today. We've shown, haven't we, the inconsistency of this Manchester City side. A 1-0 defeat at Old Trafford to Manchester United. A 3-0 defeat to AC Milan. And then a 7-1 win at St. James's Park against Newcastle. Let's hope this game is more like the Newcastle one and not the two before it. You can already see that. Gundogan into Alvarez. Alvarez foul in the box. What a tackle from behind him. I thought he was going to smash that one home. Therese's play on. Gabriel Jesus, what a ball in behind here. Cancelo, lose out to Bakayo. Saka, and Saka, good save by Edison. Smith Rowe, run back by Diaz, and the counter. This team get caught too often. Bernardo Silva. Alvarez. Mares. Bernardo. Through to Haaland. Cleared away by Arsenal and Zinchenko. Mahrez into Cancelo. Cancelo into Haaland with a chance. What a save by Ramsdale. Phillips. Mahrez. Swings one in. Alvarez in there. Cleared away again. Bernardo. Cancelo. What a hit. What a save by Ramsdale. Left foot as well. Cancelo catches this one. And he lets fly on his weaker foot. Wonderful balling by Mahrez, by the way. It's right down the middle, though, isn't it? Right down the middle by Joao Cancelo. Up against two. Phillips. Mares. Bad cross by Riyad Mares. Haaland made a run there, actually. He pulled back and they made a run in behind. It was great movement. Haaland. Alvarez. Cancelo! Oh, aims towards the bottom corner. It's just wide by Joao Cancelo. Had Haaland making a run there. Maybe I could look for Haaland again. And then. Gundogan. Gundogan. Alvarez is in there. Blocked away by Arsenal. What a ball by Gundogan, by the way. Gundogan again. Into the box. Haaland's waiting into Ramsdale. Smith Rowe back in behind to Martinelli. He has down to his keeper, Edison. It's calmly done by City, even though Edison just played a shocker of a ball. Bernardo Silva. Wherever you tell Bernardo Silva to pass today, he thinks he'll go the other way. Foul by Diaz. Why did he just pass that, Bernardo, to the man I'm asking him to? Who's asking him to pass there? I really don't know. Arsenal have gained 5% possession here. That sign, they're coming back into this game. Good block by Ake. Phillips. Cancelo! Say by Ramsdale. Straight down the middle. Gundogan, brilliant. Haaland on the turn. What are we doing? Why can't Gundogan play a pass in front of a player? Straight to Haaland's feet when you want him to be in front of him. Maybe I should have took a touch there. But what is Gundogan doing? Play it onto the run of Erling Haaland. Please. Cancelo. Haaland. Cancelo. Oh, shocking ball by Joao Cancelo. Again. Might I add. Again. From everyone. Oh, so angry. It's so annoying how terrible we are. Well, the referee's just playing for as long as he wants here. Partey with a strike. Come on, ref. You won't let us counter. Full time, nil-nil. Draw with Arsenal. Going to the next episode. Having to win at least by four goals to beat AC Man and go for the Champions League. I don't know what's going on in this episode, but it's been terrible. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. If you know the uh, quote from the very famous quote from Gattuso... Former AC Milan player, you'll know what I'm on about. See you guys next time.